things right off we're going to disassemble for cleaning is a Browning BAR, a Browning Auto Loading or Automatic Rifle. These are uh, pretty good rifles. They're still in production now. A lot of people that have them say they're probably about the top of the line as far as hunting rifles goes for self-loading. Uh, this is a Browning design, but it's not a John Browning design. These were introduced in 1967, and Bruce Browning, his grandson, is the person who developed this particular rifle. So just like any other rifle we're going to disassemble for cleaning, one of the first things you want to do is make sure that the gun is not loaded. So we'll just open the bolt, take a look up inside, and we're ready to disassemble. There's no really right way or wrong way to disassemble one of these things. I've seen people start on either end, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the front. We'll, we'll uh, take the handguard off the front. If you take a look here, you'll notice it looks like a regular sling swivel. That's not what it is. Well, it's a sling swivel and a disassembly point, too. So we'll just take the whole screw out. We'll set those off to the side there. We'll go ahead and cock your bolt back a little bit. Take the handguard off. Okay, next part I'm going to take off is going to be the buttstock. Let's get rid of all the wood on this rifle. Butt pad just has two simple screws in it. Now you're going to need a nice long screwdriver. Stock bolt is down inside the bottom here. So we'll just loosen the stock bolt up and take the stock off the back of the gun. set all the wood off to the side. When you get the rifle down to this point, the next thing you want to do is uh, disassemble the gas assembly. So if you'll notice right here in the side of the receiver on both sides, you have this little piece here. Looks like a little ladder. That's a spacer. You'll have one on either side. They just slide right out. You set those off to the side. Once those are set off to the side to remove the, the little op rods on either side right here, or the little, I guess you call it a bolt carrier, they just snap right out. We'll set those off to the side. Now to remove the gas piston and everything else here, you'll need a wrench. I don't, preferably a wrench that's going to fit it. There we go. And we'll just loosen the nut on the end right here and remove it. Now when I clean these rifles and put them back together, I like to put a little bit of anti-seize compound on the threads. You don't want to put any kind of grease or oil on this because the heat of the rounds going down through the barrel and the gas assembly will cook that oil and turn it into a sludge, almost like a glue. So you remove that nut, then you stand the, stand the barrel up, and there's a gas piston in there. Now this gas piston, you'll notice that there's a slot in the top up here for the gas port, and down on the bottom there's another slot here in the rear. There's a pin, the rear on the inside, that this bottom slot here lines up with when you get to reassemble it. Once you're to this point, you grab your recoil uh, spring and your guide rod. Pull that assembly out. The way this disassembles, you just slide the piece off the front, 
spring off the guide rod. You got this little spacer with two little steel plates. You can take them off to clean them, but try not to get that stuff mixed up. That's that's how it goes back together. You got a steel plate, a little buffer, and another steel plate. So we'll set those off to the side to be cleaned. Oh, now when you're cleaning your piston or any of your gas parts, don't soak them in any kind of lubricant because there again you'll start getting that oil that's going to start cooking under that high heat and it's going to turn to varnish. Probably not a good idea. Now the next part of the gun is a little bit tricky. And that's getting the trigger off or the trigger assembly. But you'll notice there's no screws or pins on the outside. Everything's all slotted and dovetailed. Here in the back of the gun, there's going to be a little plate. And what you'll do with that plate is you'll just work that plate up and push it back and just slide it down and out of the way. And like I said, this can be a little tricky. Once you got that plate flipped down, you can start pulling the trigger back with the trigger guard and the mechanism. But the hammer is going to catch on that. So what I like to do is reach inside and push up on the trigger. Here's that plate I was mentioning. That's where your stock bolt screws into the back of it. So that plate has to come up and be worked down and forward and lay down flat in there. And that's where your hammer has to clear. You push down on your hammer with your finger. So you can clear that plate and slide that out. Set that off to the side. Now to remove the bolt, there's a little bit of a trick to this bolt. You'll notice there's a little uh, steel, spring steel plate that slides over the, the bolt handle or the cocking handle. You'll push that forward and you'll expose a tiny little lever inside, right, spring loaded lever right in front of the cocking handle. This requires a little manual dexterity. You take a little hook or a pick of some kind and lift that handle up, that little lever in front of the handle. Slide that forward and lift it and it pops right out. You can see what I'm talking about right here with that little spring-loaded uh, latch. And now the last part is removing the bolt itself, which is a little tricky also. And I'll show you why. You have to turn the bolt sideways to get it out of the gun. Once we get the bolt apart, <clears throat> we'll disassemble the bolt itself. And right here on the top, you'll notice this little piece of uh, real heavy stamped sheet metal. That just snaps into place. So we'll snap that right off. Set that off to the side. <clears throat> now the next part is to remove the firing pin. Push the bolt all the way back inside the bolt carrier. And there's a little cross pin right here. We'll drive that out. I've got one of these little magnetic dishes I put my small parts in because I'm tired of losing my small parts. That is a very small part. You definitely don't want to lose that. Remove your firing pin and firing pin spring out of the back. You have this little firing pin retainer or, or bolt cam pin. It's almost like an AR-15 almost. You just push that out the bottom. And you'll notice there's a hole in it for your firing pin to go through. Once you remove that, then you pull the bolt out the front. And that's about as far as you really need to disassemble this rifle for a really good thorough cleaning. And when you're putting the rifle back together, <clears throat> you want to make sure you see your extractor and your ejector plunger. You want those to go in the proper location, which means your extractor is going to face to the right. And your uh, little bolt cam pin got back in. And you line that firing pin hole up with the, so your firing pin will go back in. And here's all your parts for your Brandon BAR laid out in order after you've got them stripped apart for good cleaning. And I like, like I said, I like to put all my small parts in a little magnetic pan so we don't lose anything. And one real quick note, I'm going to recommend that you don't disassemble your trigger assembly for cleaning. Uh, you can take the safety off, put your thumb over the hammer, 
and release it. Everything should be pretty much where you can reach inside to clean with a good Q-tip or some compressed air and a solvent. But then again, I'm going to say, don't start taking this apart. Take it to a gunsmith if you have to. Thank you for watching this latest Gunworks video. Down East Gunworks is a full-service farm repair service for all your long guns and handguns that includes a high-tech machine shop for tooling obsolete parts. Old or new, if you have a farm that needs attention, Gunworks can probably fix it, solve it, coat it, and make it work. If you're living in Down East Maine, come by the shop for a visit. We're located on Route 1 in Harrington. If you live elsewhere, you can reach us by going to the website www.downeastgunworks.com or call in the shop at area code 207-483-2175. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please leave me a comment and rate the video. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll always know when I've posted something new. And thanks again for watching.